We're hooked up, Cole. That was quick. It definitely feels bigger than yesterday. What is up, MFers? Welcome to a trophy factory. Hopefully this is one of them. He's pulling. Me and Cole woke up this morning and we made a trip further into the mountains where we are going to be spending the rest of our trip. And the rest of our trip, we're gonna be going after some, some bigger fish like today. And we're gonna be going after some different species, which I'm really excited about. But I was super excited to get to this place because the last time I was here, I caught my personal best rainbow trout. I think it was in the 10 pound range and there's much more of them in here, we are told. And I think today, this morning, we're getting started with a good one from what I'm seeing with the color down there. So I'm freaking excited. It's gonna be a fun day today. I'm gonna tell you in a little bit what we're doing exactly to get set up. And look at this big, beautiful cutthroat. Oh my. Oh, I'm trying to lose him. Oh, hell yeah. Tiny little jig and a beautiful, I mean, it's a rainbow, but it's definitely got some cutthroat in them. They call them cut bows. Little tiny jig head with a little piece of gulp on there. Beautiful fish. Much, much larger fish in here, like I was just saying, but to start off with a super healthy, beautiful, wild looking, beautiful fins and everything, great colors. Probably 19, 20 inch fish. Absolute giant. All right, if we're gonna start the day off like that, I freaking like it. He's a slimy guy and he wants to get back in. We'll get him right back. I guess that's a good way to start it, guys. We got some jaw jackers set up right now. Um, they've only been up for about 10, 15 minutes and that one already came and got it. There's some special regulations uh, at this trophy lake just because it's such a special place, but uh, you can't use live bait. So we're just using, I'll show you in a second, just little pieces of uh, power bait, gold plastics like that on a jig head. And um, we're off to a great start. It's really these little gold night crawler inch and a half guys and we're just threading them on this little teardrop little tungsten guy and we came out here and we drilled a bunch of holes and it's pretty flat it drops down and it's in like that 10 foot range and then there's this pretty defined drop off and i used the live scope actually we'll talk about it and look at the screen on that a little bit in a second but when i looked at that there was this drop off that goes down to about 14 feet which is still pretty gradual but i saw some flickers there and i actually saw a good fish so decided that's where I kind of want to start. We drilled a couple holes and I've kind of just been going back and forth between them. But that was pretty quick that one came in and got it. So I'm gonna set these jaw jackers both um, six inches to a foot off the bottom and we'll be good to go. Cole, remember last time we were here, we pulled up and it was like 10 below zero. And I fought that giant one with my line freezing, my reel freezing, Everything was freezing and somehow managed to get it in. It took almost 20 minutes, I think, when we looked back at the footage. <laughs> that one was a freak. And I've heard there's giant browns and cutthroats in here too, which obviously that one had some cutthroat in them too, but it wasn't a pure cutthroat. I'm just excited we're off to a decent start. It's been kind of slow the last few days, but we're gonna be a little more uh, mobile and a little bit more effort into it today, I think, because we're at a special place. I want to show you guys what we're looking at on the live scope screen just to kind of show you how the spot lays out. Um, we've been using the flasher to drop some of these because it's quicker to drop the jaw jacker straight down, but you can really explore out in the distance with the pan optics, more so to see the structure, not so much to see the fish. These trout love to roam around up and down these areas, um, and so it's not very effective for just finding individual fish or, or groups of fish because they don't really group up. Instead, I kind of like to just go out and find where there's a little difference. So as I kind of pan around here, you guys can really see how flat everything is. I got it set to 100 feet and there's hardly any difference in, in uh, depth. But one thing I really like to do is like over there when we, we kind of pan that direction, these trout hug the bottom really, really tight. So look at that right there. You can kind of catch, that looks like a fish, definitely a fish right there that's swimming by. Yeah, so that's a fish cruising up. He's actually over kind of by where my other jaw jacker is, so that's exciting. Once I kind of find that, it seems like the trout want to travel these contours, and that's where I fish. Another thing you might notice about my, uh, my live scope set up here with ice fishing is, we got this guy right down here, the powerhouse ice fishing lithium. And look at this thing. 
it's a tiny little battery it's lithium so it weighs nothing but that will power your unit the entire day much much cheaper than the uh, the powerhouse boat lithium batteries which i use on my boat as you guys know but yeah if you're a nice fisherman um, go over to powerhouse website i'll link it down below use that code mf10 you can get them cheaper than anywhere you have to have lithium batteries to run these electronics for a long period of time like we do i really like seeing that one swim by right there though so i like where i'm set up right here these these fish definitely seem like they want to hold really low in the water column um, but we're going to keep kind of fishing that same break until I stop seeing fish traveling up and down it. Holy balls. Oh, that one's pulling. Oh man. Hot hole, hot hole. We got a hot hole on our hands. Oh my. That one feels much different. I'm over there trying to freaking tie new leaders on, you know, for the first time this ice season from two years ago. Whew, come on. Emmy, come over here and be excited. That's always so sketchy with that little tiny jig head, little tiny hook. We got four pound braid and a three pound leader. There you go, Emmy, get in the shot. Let everyone know you're here. Sometimes it's hard to tell how big they are with these trout because they'll kind of get clumsy for a second, come right to the surface, and you see them, you poop in your pants, and they go, I told him. <laughs> I had just a uh, plain hook, size 8 hook over there on that one with one of these gulp guys, and I think I'm going to switch that actually to a teardrop like this one because either this one is what they prefer or this hole randomly which is 30 feet from that hole is substantially better than than that which on a pretty flat lake like like this it's not like we're fishing over a brush pile or something sometimes it is like that with ice fishing you just you cut all these holes and one for no reason has all the fish but whew. emmy emmy Come on, girl. Emmy's having so much more fun here because there's so much more snow than the last few days. Stay strong. I haven't seen this one quite yet. <laughs> this is what they do though when they're bigger. If you don't get your head, your head, their head through the hole that first time when they come up, they back down and take off. Which is what this guy's doing every single time he touches that ice. He does not like that. Come on. There's a lot of people that have been like, dude, you got the opens coming up in less than two months. Why are you ice fishing? Why not get prepared for those opens? Those are huge tournaments. And you're right, that's, that's true. But something I've told people that ask me that is, uh, this helps me fight fish so much better on light line. I mean, there's not really a substitute for being out in six foot waves like I will be in St. Lawrence River fighting smallmouth that are jumping six feet out of the water, but fighting a fish that's bigger than anything I'll probably catch on the opens next year on a two foot rod in four pound test takes so much patience <laughs> that it definitely prepares me. And for the, uh, the electronic side of things too, it's definitely, uh, ice fishing's definitely a lot more refined in your presentations. Oh, it's a big old cutthroat. A lot bigger than the last one. Again, I don't know if it's a rainbow or it's not, it's definitely not a pure cutthroat, but I can see that mark on the jaw. Cutbow. Cut Big old hybrid guy. Might actually be keeping this one. They gotta be what, Cole, 22 inches? Over 22, we can keep these. He's over 22. <laughs> Oh man, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. She's just a 
not want to get her head through. Freaking ice is so thick. Once they do get their head in it, it's hard to get their whole body up before they say, no, I'm going to keep swimming. <laughs> what do you think the ice is, Cole? Probably 16 today? At least. Yeah. Been a little chilly, apparently. Hi, Em. Light drag. Let them fight. Oh, such a beautiful fish. I'm going to put her back. Did you hear that? I'll put you back if you get up here. She's up the hole. Oh, so beautiful. Come on. Yes. Oh, man. So not much bigger than the last one, but so much stronger. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Cup bow. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yeah, coleslaw. Thought she was bigger. She was magnified down there, but get her back in. Is that a pretty fish in me? Hell yeah. Off to a damn good start. Good girl, Em. You yeah, should sit there and kiss one. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Are we going to explore? No. Camera wasn't on. Why would it be? I just jigged one. That was awesome. Came out of nowhere. Whew. Yeah, bud. <laughs> that was so sick. I decided I was going to be a little more hands-on and, uh, ooh, just, just stuck in the grass. And uh, have one jacker out and jig the other one. This might be giant. Might be another cookie cutter. People are probably sick of this. Oh, it's a giant one. He's definitely feels like he's in the grass or else he's just a very large boy. You bet. God dang, I can't believe I didn't have my chest camera going. It was so cool. I was like, oh my God, I was dicking around throwing ice at Emmy because she likes to eat it. And I looked down and my giant mark on my screen and then tick, 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 tick. You guys missed it all. It was awesome. I saw it. Cole I saw it. That it was awesome. Do you think you could write on a card um, by memory? He's almost up here. This is what it looks like. Sitting on the bucket. Yeah, so I was right there. Yep, I got him. Yep, yep. Cole, that was a great pantomime of me catching a, a fish. I hope this is fish that's uh, not in grass and he's just like 15 pounds, but... If he got in the grass, it must have been up and up high. It must have been a tall one because he never dove way deep. Oh, it's just giants, all it is. Yeah. It's just a giant one. He just splooged in the hole all weird. Ooh, that's sharp. Unlike me. Cole, you ready for this? Yep. I shouldn't be. That gum beasties out here. Cole's doing time lapses on 14 different cameras. We're watching the clouds come over, and I'm just sitting here like, I don't know. Maybe we should get rip. Bigger rod too than what I had the previous ones on. Slow your roll, dude. Just freaking hang out for a second. Let's hang out together. Hang out right here on this ice. I feel like it's maybe just because the ice is so thick. It's banging against it. He's like fighting against the surface. Here we go. Where you at? Oh, God. Dude, his head shakes go from like a foot to this side of the hole to a foot to that side of the hole. down there and get freaking bitch slapped by him. I'm not even gonna say he's giant because I've been wrong every time. I mean, I've seen him and I know he's bigger. Him? You Her. saw a kite? They. I think it's a they. I'm gonna rest for a while, I think. I'll get him out of the hole for you. 
I'm like a bear with these paws. Dude, that one I caught last year, I forgot that you had him all the way out of the hole and then he just like slipped backwards back down in. That was the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. Never had one get up that high and then do that. Whew. Can't tell if he's a brown or a rainbow. I think he's a rainbow. He's a big male rainbow. Cole likes to say the word kite. Oh, nice to see you again. You have snowballs in your paws. Oh, Did you hurt your leg out there? For you. Let's get my hand away just in case I catch this one. He didn't like that. He felt my pulses in my hand in the water. Dude, how did I jig this one and I didn't get it on film? Oh yeah, because I'm not used to wearing a chest cam. Oh, okay. Oof, dude, it's like as big as the one last year. Oh my god, it's a big male. He's kiped. It's huge. Get this out of here. It's like around his gill weird the line is, so he's kind of coming up sideways. His head won't go through. His body is this is width of the hole, tallness wise. Guys, this is an absolute freak of a fish. I'm so jacked right now. And uh, now that I've seen a good look at him, uh, I'm starting to starting to get a little more excited and a lot more nervous on this little tiny hook, little tiny rod, three pound test I just put on it. Oh my God! Oh man, oh man, come on, his head won't go through, oh he is hooked just perfectly in his beak, beak hookers, Whew. get that gaff out Cole, probably could have already, I saw in Hattie's video the other day, the freaking Went in there and grabbed the son bitch's tail and ripped it out. I was like, holy balls. That's not the first time that you've done that before. <laughs> that fish was probably this size. Oh my god. <sighs> Every time I see him. What real is this? I could get it at bait works. Sahara, Shimano Sahara. Lower grade than the Stratic. Great for this though, it's nice smooth drag as you guys can see. Size 100. This is a five size, 50 size. Doesn't cast it with a hair jig as well and open water, but uh, <laughs> you gotta use a 4,000 size for that. Oh my God, I can't get his head in right because he just doesn't fit. Cole, go grab the auger. We need to drill four more holes to get this guy through. There you are. Come on. Head is up. <laughs> His head shakes go so far. Oh my god, it's Come so on. big and beautiful. There she is. He is. Tail. Here's his head. Nope. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Holy moly. Yep. That is way bigger than last time. Maybe. See your head? Oh yeah, it's right in here. Come on. I might build it. Oh. Oh! Dude, my line. No, it didn't break, but look at that one. Oh my goodness. Be nice to me. Oh. Man, look at that fish. Don't flop. Don't you do it. That's why we're here. Absolute giant. Look at that little tiny jig right in the mouth. <laughs> Not as big as last year's, I don't think, but close. Very, very close. close, man. I mean, that's a, she's not that long. She's probably, a, or he, I guess, probably in the 25 to 27 inch range. 
<laughs> Look at the colors on that fish. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, she's really close to last year. Look, she's even got some cutthroat in her, some cut bow. It is, yeah. Oh my, what an absolute specimen. <laughs> Hands are so cold. We don't want to get this fish on the ice much longer. Obviously a lot better than a boat deck or something, but 28 inch rod, she goes to right. Right there, so probably a 26, a little bit over 26 inch fish. One more look at her guys, we're gonna get her back in. Would be a delicious one to eat. Be a cool one to mount, but uh, I want someone else to catch one. Catch her, him. Giant. Gills in the water until she's ready to kick off. Oh yeah, she's starting to wobble. There she goes. Sweet. <sighs> that made the entire trip worth it for me. And like I said, the rest of the trip we're going to be going after some uh, really cool species. Thinking about some lake trout, some musky, some smallmouth, and more giant trout too. But uh, that was a special one. It's hard to get one much bigger than that through the ice. Um, shout out to my guy Eric Hadia who absolutely destroys the giant trout in the harbors, but landlocked stuff, not Great Lakes stuff, that's a giant one. <laughs> On this guy too, that's my jig. One sixty-fourth ounce tungsten, I think. <laughs> Crazy. Damn!